Hey, I'm Alan Brito, I'm an architect, and today I want to make a quick comparison between AutoCAD and Blender regarding snapping. If you are trying to migrate from AutoCAD or any other CAD software and you want to try Blender, uh, most people or a lot of people think that Blender do not have a strong or powerful snapping system. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's, uh, it's a lot better than what it used to be. And let's make a quick comparison uh, with uh, one resource in Blender that will transform the way you do your snappings here. First, let me show you how it works here in AutoCAD. Let me maximize my AutoCAD window. And for instance, I have this, uh, this uh, three objects. I will uh, move them using the move tool select for instance this cube this cube here and if i zoom in here you will see that i can easily grab the end point from this side and i can move it here until the destination point right here for instance quite easy let's try the same thing with this cube let me start the move to select the cube grab this as the reference point and I can easily move it here. Oh, sorry. Let's move it again. I was trying to place it here. Really easy to do. You can see that we have our objects like this in AutoCAD. So the question is, how easy can we do this in Blender? Let's take a look into Blender and see how it works. And here in Blender, uh, how can we enable or manage the snap? Uh, if you just want to use the default tools from Blender, you will be able to enable the snap right here at the top. And you can enable the snap targets. Let's use here a vertex and edge center. Now, once we enable the snapping, if I select, for instance, one of these cubes, press the G key, and try to move the cube close to another object, you will see that Blender will try to guess what is the target point that we want, that we want to use for this object. And as you can imagine, it won't get exactly what we need. The secret here to use the snapping tool, to change the way you use the snapping tool here in Blender is to use the snap base, which you can trigger with the B key. Let me write it here on the screen so you won't miss it. It's the B key. Let's see how it works. For instance, if I press the G key, I just uh, wrote it right here so you won't miss. Uh, if I press the B key now, you will see that Blender will uh, ask for a snap base. You can now select. You don't even have to enable the snapping. It will work even if you don't enable the snapping. You will see that we can grab a reference point. Let's try to use a similar reference point uh, from uh, what we uh, were using in AutoCAD. Let me grab this point here, click, and I can move it right here. I got the wrong point, no problem. Let's press the G key again, B. I will grab this point and move it here. Same procedure. If I select this object right here again, G, B, and I want to place this point here, here. Look how easy it is to do the exact same thing that we did in AutoCAD using the B key. And you can repeat the same, uh, the same process with other snapping targets. Uh, for instance, if I want to align the middle point of this uh, cube, G, B, I can grab the midpoint here or the middle edge, the middle point from the edge and align it right here. So the secret is to use the B key to enable your snapping, your snap base. This is not new from Blender 5.0, but it's important to know in case you are trying to migrate for, from any CAD software to Blender. And that's it. Now you know how to use the snap base in Blender. If you want to know more about how to use Blender as a CAD tool, I just updated uh, one of my uh, books. Uh, it's this book right here. Blender 5.0, Precise Modeling for Architecture, Engineering, and 3D Printing. I'll leave links in the description. Uh, in this page here, you can download a few sample pages, take a look into the table of contents, and uh, get all of the resources and all of the files that I use as a reference uh, in all of the chapters. 
I will also leave links in the description for my workshop, which I will soon update to Blender 5.0. It will just be a minor update because uh, everything uh, is basically the same, just some cosmetic changes uh, in the user interface. Uh, links in the description. It will support my work here in Blender 3D Architect. Hope you like it. See you next time. Bye.